Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another First Descendant video. Now, I've been doing a lot of farming before the update and after the latest update 1.04 and does it feel a little bit different to you? Well, I did some farming and I have some numbers and you're gonna be shocked. All right, now the way you're gonna be breaking down this video, I did it solo with Sharon and of course I played with people. And oh boy, yeah, the drops has changed since the update. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the amorphous pattern drop rates after update 1.04. Let's go! Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. But before we do, if you're looking for some cheap, first descendant weapons, items, and more, including boosting services, you head over to u4gm.com, use the code CARPO for 5% off. So thanks for our sponsor today. Let's get started with today's video. This is the way things are gonna break down in this video. Now, I've been forming Amorphous Pattern 112 before the update and after the update for Ajax Stabilizers. And I finally got it. But along the way, I've done some testing and uh, you're gonna be shocked. Now, if you was one of those persons who was thinking, um, the drop rate seems like they've gotten worse. You're not the only one, right? See, before the update, update 1.03, I was forming Amorphous Pattern 112 in the same location as a solo player on private and the results was amazing, right? I was getting amorphous patterns left and right. Of course, I didn't get it to drop the other day when I was farming for it, but after an update, I came back over here and uh, yeah, you're about to see the results. Now, you're gonna have to trust me on this one, all right? I've been farming in Warframe, you name it, any other looter shooter, I, I know what I'm talking about. I farm for the practice. I farm for Frost Prime Systems. If you know, you know, okay? So I know what I'm talking about. So I know the video is clipped, but trust me, the video would be much longer if I let just sit here and wait through the wait times for all other drops. So um, this is the run that I've done. I've done five of these bad boys, and you're, you're about to see the results from each one of these runs. And yeah, things have changed, but not as bad as you think. I initially started to make this video about horrible drop rates, but it turns out, well, I was farming Amorphous Pattern Room, <laughs> okay? Now, six runs on port private after update 1.03 on update 1.04, and I got one. Prior to this, I was giving them the drop left and right, dude. So, I was kind of mad at myself, you know, because I should have just stayed up and farmed for amorphous patterns. That's what I was thinking. Now, after the update, I'm trying to figure it out because I'm like, man, I'm down to one part for Ultimate Ajax. And now I just can't get the amorphous patterns to drop. It's just so inefficient, right? So I decided to go in with Sharon. And of course, with Sharon, you're doing infiltration missions and you have higher chances on paper to get the drop and additional rewards. Well, the results was pretty different. Now, of course, I know that farming with Sharon is always a good thing, right? But that is for the additional rewards. And that still holds true. First two runs, I didn't really get anything, but you know, I'm a farmer, so I'm used to it. So then I know the drops will eventually happen. And then they did start it to drop with Sharon. So farming with Sharon on private, infiltrations here are the results now it's gonna be a little bit different right because like I said I'm doing it with Sharon I should be getting uh, additional rewards and I do I do I do I do but it's a little bit spread some 112 some 113 so six one with Sharon's I got three amorphous patterns and I got actually one stabilizer so I'm shocked I'm super pumped right now. I'm like, okay, going with Sharon is going to be the way go. But I still need Amorphous Pattern 112, not really 113, you know? And that's the problem because farming with Sharon, you get a lot of additional rewards. So I went back in with Sharon yet again, just a few more times, just because I thought the drops was a little bit better. And they clearly was doing this if you're doing it solo with Sharon. All right. But the results was a little bit mixed. I got a lot of Amorphous Patterns 113. I'm here for Amorphous Pattern 112. So it does work, right? 
but it works best when you're playing with people. Let me explain what happened. And thank God this happened to me because the results are gonna be shocking, my dude. So what had happened was, is I was sitting here just waiting and deciding, you know what? I'm not really getting them to drop solo. With Sharon, I'm getting them to drop every now and then. It's just super inefficient. I normally don't do this, but you know, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go and play with some players because hey, after the update, there's only a one minute timer drop, right? So initially I started and it was three people here and well, the results wasn't that great, right? Uh, you know, when you form and you have that feeling like, ah, I'm just not getting anything to drop, right? I, I kind of had that feeling. Trust me, I'm a farmer. I have good RNG. I would know. But I did get a few of these to drop and all of a sudden it's skyrocketing and oh my God, this is what happened. So one of the dudes bounced. So now I'm just playing with two people, right? You wouldn't think it would make a difference, but oh my God, it does. So yeah, I know this is a small sample size, but you know when you're playing and you have that feeling like something has changed. I'm getting more drops, you know? Well, I had that feeling playing with two people. All right, so here are the results, oh my God. And it's astounding, my dude. Now, after update 1.04, things have changed. Before, on update 1.03, playing solo, it was still, you know, depending on which amorphous pattern you was going for and the outpost, the drops were different, right? Sometimes it was just hard drop. It just didn't drop like that. But certain outposts, it did, right? And this one was one of those outposts. Like I said, I was over here farming before on solo. And after update, it just wasn't dropping like that, bro. And thank God I decided to come over here and things happened the way they did because the results are amazing. Like I said, I'm sitting on 20 of these amorphous patterns and I got the bulk of them within about an hour, hour and a half after I started playing and it was just two people. I mean, it was drop after drop after drop, back to back. Sometimes I didn't get the drop as you see in the video, but for the most part, I was getting amazing numbers in my dude. I don't know how the math works. I really don't, right? Because it just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> but playing with two people seems like that is the secret sauce, the money, right? And it just works. Trust me when I tell you, go try it with one of your friends and, and let me know down below. I mean, oh my God, seven runs with two people? Yeah, five amorphous patterns. I was like, yo, this is definitely the way to go. And then what had happened was when I was in my menu, uh, another bunny showed up and well, the results instantly changed just like that. I swear to God, I was on amorphous pattern 112 on my 18 one. I said, I'm gonna get 20, then I'm out of here and I'm gonna go farm for Ajax, which I did eventually get the drop. But on 18, I was stuck. I had to run this 10 more times and I got two amorphous patterns to drop. Now I was playing with three people, sometimes a fourth one came. I mean, the results are in, my dude. Playing with two people is the way to go. If you're forming for amorphous patterns, I don't know why, but it is what it is. Uh, trust me, I've been playing, farming forever in these types of games. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you see the results right here? I got 20 of these bad boys and it was easy to get playing with two people. Playing with Sharon is great for additional rewards and playing solo after 1.04, oof, it's rough. But right now, that's pretty much going to the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you're new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpool Game Below the White Ride. Videos range from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.